Hello, this is the Undetectable Browser Team. Today we'll discuss how to properly use the Profile Recycle Bin in the Undetectable Anti-Detect Browser. This tool will ensure the safety of your work data and allow you to restore profiles even if they were accidentally deleted. The Profile Recycle Bin in Undetectable works locally, meaning all deleted profiles are saved on your computer. This means you can easily restore them if necessary, but only on the computer where they were deleted. An important detail. Restoration is impossible if profiles are deleted through the cloud dashboard. You can customize the profile recycle bin entirely to your liking or even disable it. To do this, in the main window of the program, go to Settings and then to the Advanced section. Here you can disable the recycle bin or set the number of days that profiles will be stored in it. To disable the recycle bin, uncheck the Save Deleted Profiles option. If you'll need to restore deleted profiles, you can set the number of days. Profiles will be stored in the recycle bin from which you can restore them. Let's set it to three days. Usually profiles are stored for seven days by default. Now let's figure out how to restore deleted profiles from the recycle bin. It's very simple and will take just a couple of minutes of your time. To do this, let's go to the Profile Manager. To access it in the main window of the program, click on the Profiles button. Once in the Profile Manager, let's filter the profiles by state, Deleted. You can also access the list of deleted profiles simply by clicking on the button with the trash can icon. Now we see all the deleted profiles. To restore them, right-click on the profile you need and select the Restore option in the popped-up window. Voila! The profile is restored and will be displayed in the list in the main window of the program. You can also restore multiple profiles at once. Just select the ones you need and then click the Restore button in the menu. The profiles have been restored and will be displayed in the main window of the program. This brings our video guide to an end. If it was helpful to you, give this video a big thumbs up, leave comments, and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next videos.